Effective Academic Writing Unit 6 Narrative Paragraphs After completing Unit 6, students will be able to Use discussion and reading as a pre-writing technique for writing a narrative paragraph. Organize elements of a narrative paragraph. Use sensory and emotional details in a narrative paragraph. Identify the order of events in a narrative paragraph. Write sentences using simple past tense. Formulate sentences using past continuous tense. And edit a paragraph for correcting mistakes in the use of simple past and past continuous tenses. Unit 6. Narrative Paragraphs. Part 1. Stimulating Ideas. In narrative writing, the writer tells a story that sets the background for an event, describes the event, and often comments on the event. In this chapter, you will write a narrative paragraph that tells the story of an event in your life. A model narrative paragraph about the snake man. The author, who is working in West Africa, describes a frightening experience at a dinner party. A deadly poisonous snake called a green mamba has entered the house and chased the guests outside. The host has summoned the snake man to come and take the unwelcome visitor away. What happens next? There's a good boy, the snake man said softly. There's a clever boy. There's a lovely fellow. You mustn't get excited. Keep calm and everything's going to be all right. As he was speaking, he was slowly lowering the end of the pole until the forked prongs were about 12 inches above the middle of the snake's body. There's a lovely fellow, he whispered. There's a good, kind little chap. Keep still now, my beauty. Keep still, my pretty. Daddy's not going to hurt you. Then wham! The rubber prongs came down right across the snake's body, about midway along its length and pinned it to the floor. All I could see was a green blur as the snake thrashed around furiously in an effort to free itself. But the snake man kept up the pressure on the prongs and the snake was trapped. Then at last the prongs were right behind the head itself, pinning it down and at that point the snake man reached forward with one gloved hand and grasped the snake very firmly by the neck. He threw away the pole. He took the sack off his shoulder with his free hand. He lifted the great still twisting length of the deadly green snake and pushed the head into the sack. Then he let go the head and bundled the rest of the creature in the closed sack. The sack started jumping about as though there were fifty angry rats inside it, but the snake man was now totally relaxed, and he held the sack casually in one hand, as if it contained no more than a few pounds of potatoes.